I found this wiring diagram of a pretty typical tube type tape recorder. And I thought I'd go through the wiring diagram because if you replace the caps and replace the tubes and it still doesn't work, it's a good idea to be able to read the wiring diagram so you can do some testing. Now here we have the power supply in a couple of boxes. The large box to the right, you can see the transformer, the filament string, the rectifier tube, and then above the transformer is a filter. And also at the top is some more filtration. And in that small box to the left, that is more filtration for the first two stages of amplification. In this box we've got the playback and record head and the erase head. Also we've got the switch that switches between playback and record and that arrow is showing which way the contacts will move. Here we have the audio amplifier and the box on the left has the first three sections of amplification. The top box on the right is the fourth which is the output and the small box below it of course is the speaker. Now this box is showing the oscillator circuit. So this tape recorder is AC bias. And we've got a neon indicator here and it is not switched in and out of the circuit in playback or record mode. It's just in the circuit. So this wiring diagram has pretty much everything that you're going to run into with a tube tape recorder AC bias. Now of course this has two modes. This one shows the playback mode and here is the record mode. Now I've got a closer look at that uh, switch. Here's the playback mode again and this is going to be the record mode. And what I'm going to do is go through the major signal paths in playback mode and record mode. In playback mode the signal is going to come from the playback head and notice the other wire on the playback head notice that that goes up to the common ground where the other side goes through to the switch and then up and over to the first stage of amplification. Now it goes out of the plate through the phono radio input and then over to the top side of the volume control. That's the second stage of amplification. Goes to the grid and then out the plate over to the third stage then out of the plate over to the fourth stage which is the output that 6V6 output tube to the primary of the audio transformer and the secondary 
the center tap goes down to the switch and the other contact on the switch goes over to the speaker and then the other side of the speaker is connected to common ground. Now going back to the erase head, one side of it is hooked up to ground but notice that in the playback mode the other side of the race head is not hooked up to anything. The contact is open. Now we're going to push that playback record switch into the record position. Now in this position we have two possible inputs. The microphone input or the phono radio input. I'm going to start with the microphone input. That signal goes over to the switch through the contacts and up to the first stage of amplification. Goes out the plate and over to the jack for the phono radio input. Now from this point both inputs are amplified the same goes over to the top part of the volume control into the grid out the plate to the third stage of audio amplification over to the fourth stage of audio amplification out the plate and into the primary of the audio transformer. Now that secondary goes over to the switch, goes through the contacts, a couple more contacts over to the record head. And of course the other side of the record head is still connected to ground. Now let's take a look at the erase head. It is now in the circuit through contacts of the switch it is connected to the output of the AC bias oscillator. Now the plate of the 12AU7 is where the energy is coming from and it's going over to the primary of the oscillator coil. The secondary of that oscillator coil is what is supplying the positive feedback to keep the AC bias oscillator oscillating. This is a nice example of a tube type tape recorder and I hope that tracing through the playback mode and the record mode will help you understand the circuit better and help you learn how to troubleshoot this circuit. Thanks very much for watching.